Um, hello everyone, it's Adam from S1234 and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to flood TARDIS in the TARDIS Rewrite mod. I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be using Brundube's TARDIS, and that's how you pronounce his name, Brundube's TARDIS. This one, yeah. Oops, let me do that. So, yeah. So, you're going to start with your TARDIS on the outside. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. The have a look, box. It's usually a box. I don't know, like the Hellben or. Yeah. Right, now, depending on your console, there will be different buttons. This one has most of the buttons, so I'm going to be showing you that. Okay, so. This, so in order to enter, in order to use anything, you need to press E, in order to use the doors and use all the buttons. So press E. Now, depending on your TARDIS, you'd have to press E, doors, again. Or, press the doors button. I like Sonic's gonna use my Sonic. Uh, I like using my Sonic's too nice. Anyway, now I'm gonna show you how to um, flood the TARDIS. Alright, so. First, I'm gonna show you some controls. Sonic Charger, charge Sonic, but never needs charging. The HADS, the HADS stands for hostile. Oh, I don't know. Fucking basically, if your TARDIS gets shot while HADS is activated, it will fly away. Safety. Fly somewhere else. But uh, yeah. That's all you really need about the HADS. Anyway, speed controls. That's just music. But yeah, just play music. Keypad. That does nothing. Just type coordinates that you type them in or select manually and boom. Press X. Uh, power that disables or re enables the power. Clicking. Go outside. That sets your TARDIS invisible. Grabs uh, while flying, you can activate that and your tires will stay in the air no matter if it's flying or not. Isomoric control, that's just isomoric security, but it'll just basically all do is just fly. But anyway, uh, I'm just activate my scanner. That's that. Is, so, this would be your screen. You can activate your screen UI, make it look a bit like that. That's very useful. I see. You're probably going to be using that a lot. I'm going to keep that disabled for now because I like it disabled. Alright, now let's go with actual flight since we're going with most of the controls. I'm not most of them. Alright, first let's click on coordinates or manual destination. You either select manually or just use. I'm just typing in. I'm going to select them manually for now. Alright, so this is based on your master. It's up to high, you go down. If you go low, you go low. Press R to be set to the ground. Okay. You follow me, it's good. Right. So now I'm here. You want to left click and it will say destination locks ready to dematerialize. In order to dematerialize you'll either need to follow a sequence, which will just be highlighted which will just be highlighted things, so say I'd have the press on charger and the heads and then the dematerialize switch or something. You also like to call the DMAT switch or or the uh, throttle or something along those lines. So you want to press E and throttle. Okay, that's nice. That means I can do it fast. Scanner. Oh, and by the way, yes, you can, if you can open the doors too, if you do so wish. And you can see. How beautiful it is out there. You can't exit, but you can just see. 
nice it is in the vortex. I'm ready to leave though, so press me again. There is noise. Dematerializing. Again, scan. I'm in a very different location to where I would work then. There's a way in how I like that too. Flight. You are now in a different location. Now that'll bring me to my other thing that I want to show you today. Now it's called Fast Return. Fast Return Protocol. Or just Fast Return. If you press this, it will send you back to your last location. And by just going to the scanner, show me. Hmm. Going now, back to uh, the previous location that we started, which is in the middle of a fucking field. Sorry, sorry, if you're young. Back out, boom, we're in the last location. That's very useful, oh, that's my favourite one. So, yeah, pretty cool. Just, yeah. Now, how about I show you manual flight, as you've probably seen. Flight just activates flight. So, wrong button. But anyway. Just trying to find the flight button. If you cannot find it, you can always just do this. Go on the scanner or anything. With this little blue thing. Click on the menu. Go on manual flight control. And then press X. And then boom. I'm going to show you some controls for this now. F, travel doors, right click, oh shit, sorry, uh, my right click, left click will just make you dematerialize if you hold it, and it will make you dematerialize the right. Yeah, see? So it's clockwise. It's like clockwise now. Then you're in the same place. Press R to fly. Shift to fly faster. Yeah, you can still turn around from that, so it's a bit buggy, it'll just make you flew in the air. While still being, being able to move. Whoa, what the hell? And now I'm just gonna do something quick. So I'm gonna show you 
uh, we never have any damage. Um, I have now got damage. So if I toggle my flight. Sorry about this. I'll lose help. Yeah, it's about this thing. Right. As you can see. That was pretty sweet. Anyway. You press the self repair button. Really. She's having a nice touch repair, repair, or just self repair. And press E. It'll turn off the whole entire power and it will say self repair has been engaged, please vacate the interior. Yes. You can use the doors if you and the door lock if you do so, please. It will all my closed doors. And say how many, how long it'll take. This will take 14 seconds, so we don't have to wait. By the way, I would like to ask you to please like and subscribe, as I'm very new to YouTube and it would be greatly appreciated. I'm not very new to it, but yeah. boom, that's finished. See, it took that long to tell you to like and subscribe. So yeah, that's all I'm going to teach you for this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.